And if you just make your way just down onto your mats. So when you come down, we're just going to lie down just um, with long legs if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to lengthen through your legs, then please do that. And just have your arms maybe down by your sides. And then we'll just take a few moments just at the start of class. Just coming away from your morning and it's beginning to draw your attention inwards. Just being aware of your breath, just as it moves in through your nose, along the back of your throat and down into your belly. And then as your breath starts to smooth out, just beginning to notice your body, just how it feels this morning. So maybe noticing areas of tension or tightness. Just try and allow these to soften down. And then as your body starts to release its hold, Take a moment, just checking in, see how you feel. Not analyzing your thoughts too much, but just simply allowing them to move in and out through your mind. So in today's class, we're going to do a practice in compassion, or more accurately, in self-compassion. So really just being aware of our bodies and how we move them, trying not to cause any injury, and practicing ahimsa, which is one of the limbs of yoga, and really just being really tuned in to how everything feels as we move through the practice this morning. Also do a little bit through the side of the body. We don't tend to stretch the side body a lot. So we'll do a few poses that will help to bring stretches towards the side. So we'll start to move about. We're going to start by taking your arms overhead and we're going to take a full body stretch to start this morning. So you can stretch your hands all the way away and reach all the way down through your feet as well. So just a nice big full body stretch to start. Now from there, we're going to come in for, I love saying this one, but it's a banana asana. So it is actually a real thing. Probably not one of the original asanas, but it is a real thing. So we're going to walk your feet just over towards the right side. So as far over as you can. And then stretch your arms over towards the right as well. So you create this kind of curved shape through your body. And then if you want to, you can pick up your left foot and just cross over the right ankle. So that kind of brings it even more into the side, that left side body. And then try and relax into it, but breathe deeply into the side of your ribs. Then your neck will slowly release that. So just kind of cross your legs. If you've got them crossed, bring them back towards the middle and slip the arms overhead again. So we'll come to the other side. So just start to walk your feet out. Again, take it way over to the left. Start to reach your arms over towards the left as well. And then maybe cross your right foot over your left ankle. when you're ready. We'll move back to the centre. So maybe uncross your legs first and then move back into the middle. And then we'll release the arms just down by your sides. 
And from there, you're going to draw your right knee in towards your chest. So you can take your hands just on top of that knee or the shin. Start to draw it in a little bit. Start to extend away through your left leg. So your left foot lifts a bit off the ground. And you can keep your upper body on the ground, or if you want to, you can start to lift, but just keep the upper body lifted here. So kind of a little oppositional stretch. So we're drawing the knee in, we're pushing the leg away, and we're really lifting through the upper body. So drawing the belly and warming up a little bit through your core. And when you're ready, slowly release all the way back down. So we'll change sides again, just drawing that left knee in. Extend the right leg. So really push the right leg away so it's lifted up off the ground. Start to draw that knee in and then maybe lift through the upper body again. So again, just working a little bit to warm up through the center of your body. Okay, when you're ready, we'll slowly release everything back down. And we'll draw the knees in towards your chest. Now I'm going to move side to side here. So you can either do this with your feet on the ground, or you can lift your feet up more to a kind of tabletop position. So it's your choice. And we'll spread the arms by your sides. As you inhale, we'll slowly lower the legs over towards one side, but not too far. And then when you're ready, on the exhale, just bring them back towards the middle. Go the other way when you're ready. So inhale, slowly lower it over. As you exhale, bring it back in. So start to move at your own pace now. So just working your own time, using your breath to control the speed. When you're ready, we'll make our way back in just towards the center again. And then join the knees in with the hands now, maybe behind the back of your thighs. So if you like to, you can roll over onto your side. We're going to make our way up. So you can maybe roll back and forwards a couple of times and then just make your way up. When you come up, we're going to move to an all fours position. So you can start to come around into that, but just take your time. And then as you move in, we'll have the hands under the shoulders and the knees underneath your hips. So we'll do a couple of cat cows here. So on the inhale, start to drop your belly down and then pull the chest forward and through. On that exhale, pull the belly in. So rounding through your upper back and shoulders. So do that again. So inhale, drop the belly. And exhale around again. Good. We'll do that one more time. So again, just take your time. And then make your way back towards the center. So kind of in the middle of that. When you get there, we'll lift the belly and we're going to start to extend through your right leg. So maybe just keep it on the ground to start with. So we're going to come in for a little side stretch here. So Vashi Smashna. Just a little prep for it. So you might want to just move your left foot just out towards the left a little bit. So it just acts as a kind of little kickstand. And please feel free to keep your hands on the ground. So working compassionately, just work where it feels right to you. Maybe you can start to turn the hips a little and lift your right hand up off the ground, but just see how that feels. And don't feel that you have to do it. So just take it to where you can. And then from there, if you want to start to lift your right foot off the ground, but again, keep it on the ground if that suits you better. And then finally, if you can, we're going to bend through your right leg, maybe grab hold of the foot with the right hand, and just gently press the foot into the hand. And if that is just a step too far, then just see where you are. Just breathe there. We'll take one more deep inhale. Now slowly and carefully release the foot, so take it and extend it behind you, placing that right hand back on the ground, turn the hips towards the center again. And then we're just going to bend through that right leg. Now from there we're going to circle around, so you might pull your knee into your chest, move it out to the side and then back up. But just really whatever kind of 
version of a circle to choose. So faster or slower, bigger or smaller. And then we'll change direction, just moving in the opposite way. See how your hip feels today. And then you're ready. We're going to draw that right knee just in towards your chest. As you do that, if you round your back, so as if you're in that cat shape again, so draw your belly in. And I'm going to step your right foot up towards the top of your mat. So take your time as you place it. Have one hand either side and maybe slide the left leg back a little bit. Just see how that feels. So knee over the ankle and the front leg, and then we'll start to lift to your belly. So just reaching up with the hands if you can. Start to let the hips sink down. The arms draw back a little bit. And the chest lift. We'll take one more deep in here. We're going to come into a little twist today. So we'll take your left hand down towards the ground. Your right hand could stay on that right knee and use that to pull you around. Or maybe you reach up and open with that right hand. But just see how that feels. Try to align the shoulders as much as you can. and Draw the chest towards that right side. Okay, we'll take one more deep in here. Slowly release the hand down towards the ground. And from there, we'll tuck the toes and lift the hip, the knee up off the ground. Now, from there, we're going to step back to plank. So, again, in a compassionate way, lower your knees straight to the ground as soon as you get there, if you like. And then from here, we're going to lower to the ground. So, again, you can lower your knees first or bend your elbows and slowly lower all the way down. So, when you get there, flatten out your feet, have your hands under your shoulders. And then on your inhale, we're just going to lift up a little bit. So we draw the shoulders back, lift the chest. So not too high. And we're going to stay here today. And then on an inhale, maybe start to lift your right leg up off the ground. As you exhale, slowly lower down. So we'll do that on the other side. So again, inhale, start to lift up through your left leg. And then slowly release back down. And then from there, maybe slowly lower your upper body down to the ground. From here, we'll come back up. So we'll push up, just up onto your knees first. Walk your knees in. When you get into the all fours again, maybe you move a little bit. So maybe you move your hips side to side. It's any little movement that you feel is right for you. So we're going to stretch through the side a little bit more. So again, keep your knees underneath your hips and then when you're ready, we're going to start to push your hips just out towards the right. So you just press both hips out and then start to turn your head and look down. So as if you're trying to look at that right hip. Come back to the middle. We'll do that on the other side. So start to gently press the hips out towards that left side. Turn the head, look down and try and see your hip. We'll do that again. So again, just moving your hip all the way across. Start to rotate round. So when you move, and turn towards the left side, you should get a nice stretch through the right side of your body as it lengthens. Do that once more on either side, take your time. Okay, we'll make our way back in towards the centre. So we're going to do the same on that left side, so spread your hands, draw your belly in, extend through your left leg, Again, foot on the ground, maybe you move your right foot a little bit to the right. And then maybe start to lift up through the left hand. Just see how it feels. You can always place your hand on your hip, you'll have to reach it up. Try and align your shoulders. Maybe you start to lift that left foot up off the ground, but just see how that goes. And then again, maybe you stay here or bending through that left leg, foot into the hand, and start to gently press, opening up through your chest. Slowly and carefully, so try not to let tingle away. Release the foot, bring your hands in, extend through the leg again. Turn your hips towards the centre. And then when you're ready, slowly re-bend that left leg. So we'll start to move through that circle again. So draw the knee in, kick it out, back up, down again.
the new leg will change direction so it's moving the opposite way. Whatever that means to you. Okay, when you're ready, we're going to draw the knee in. So again, as you do that, try and round through your back, draw your belly in. And then we'll start to step that foot up towards the top of your mat once more. So hands either side, maybe slide your right leg back a little bit. And then when you're ready, start to lift through your chest. So really use your core to help you to lift up. And relax the shoulders when you get there. Okay, we'll come in for that twist again. So taking your right hand towards the ground, left hand onto that left knee, or maybe start to move round and reach up through that left hand. Just see how it feels. Try not to pull the arm too far back, so you don't want the hand to be further back than your shoulder, but try and align it. Okay, from there, release both hands down towards the ground. And then from here, we'll tuck the toes and lift the back knee. And we'll make our way back to plank again. So again, as soon as you get there, the knees may drop to the ground. That might be a good thing. Let's see how it goes. And then to lower down, maybe lower your knees first. Or maybe just bend the elbows and as slowly as you can, lower yourself down. Good, very nice. Okay, we'll release the toes. So again, move your hands back under your shoulders. As you inhale, start to draw the shoulders back, lifting through your chest. Any height here, but remember we're going to have to hold there. <laughs> so you can hold here, and then as you inhale, we'll start to lift through your right leg. On the exhale, release it down. So we'll do that again, so slowly lift up. And again, you could choose not to lift the leg, it's really up to you. Slowly lower. From there, slowly lower your upper body, so all the way down. And then when you're ready, we'll make our way back up. So press up onto your knees and your hands and make any little movements that you like. Okay, from here, we're gonna to move to our first downward facing dog. So again, spread your hands, tuck your toes, start to lift your hips up, back into downward facing dog. So when you come in here, maybe start to widen your feet, maybe you pedal them out, maybe you just keep your knees bent. So all these little things that we do are really practicing compassion towards parts of our body. So when we spread our fingers and we use all of the other fingers, you're kind of acting compassionately towards your wrists because and your, your, the peel of your hand, because you're not placing all that weight in that one place. And when you bend your knees, then you're, you know, you're, Compassionately allowing your upper back to stretch and, and giving a little bit of a, a respite to tight hamstrings if you have them. Okay, we'll take one more deep in here. When you're ready, we'll lift the heels up. So looking forward, you can either walk or step towards the top of your mat. So take your time, whatever you're doing. I just fold a little bit towards your legs when you get there. When you're ready, on your inhale, we're going to lengthen forward. So maybe move the hands up the legs and stretch to your spine. And on the exhale, we'll just fold back in towards your legs. As you inhale, we'll reach up, arriving all the way up. And on the exhale, we'll bring the palms together just in front of your heart. Maybe close your eyes just for a moment. When you get there and just see how you feel. When you're ready, we'll release the hands and open the eyes. So we're coming into Tadasana, so you can separate your feet or you can keep them together. But lengthen through your legs and relax your shoulders down your spine. So as you inhale, we'll reach up with the arms. So we're going to bring the palms together today. And then on the exhale, we're going to lean a little bit over towards the right side. So just take a little side bend. Breathing in, come back into the centre. And then as you exhale, we'll just move the other way. Inhale to the centre. And on the exhale, we'll just release the hands all the way back down. 
So we'll do that once more. So inhale, reaching up with the arms with a big stretch up, palms together. So we'll move to the left side first this time. So again, just slowly over towards the left as you exhale. Inhale to the middle. And on the exhale, we'll move the other way. Inhale to the center. And on the exhale, we'll release the hands all the way back down. We're going to come into Utkatasana, our chair pose. So start to bend your knees. Again, you could separate your feet if you'd like. And then reach your hands forward and up. So as you get there, try and have the weight back into your heels, belly pull down. Relax your shoulders. I'm going to reach back with your right hand. So keep the left hand where it is and just open up through that right arm. Good, move back to the center. And then we'll do that with the left arm. So just keep that right hand there, stretch back, open up through your chest a little bit, hips stay level, bring it back in. Now this time both arms are going to reach back. So we're just going to stretch them behind you. Keeping your chest lifted here. If you want to, you don't have to, but we're going to lift your heels up off the ground. The heels lift, the chest stays high, and the hips stay down. Lower your heels down, and then just fold towards your legs. As you inhale here, lengthen forwards, and on the exhale, just fold back in. As you inhale, reach up, and on the exhale, palms meet the heart. So we're going to do a few of these little sun salutations. So we'll add the two little moves together. We'll release the arms back down. So as you inhale, reach up with your arms and palms together. On the exhale, we'll move forward towards the right side, so that little side bend. Get back into the middle. And then moving over towards the left. Back into the center. On the exhale, release your hands all the way down. And then on the inhale, we'll start to reach the arms and come into that chair. Okay, when you're ready, reaching back with your right arm, open up through your chest. Bring the arms back together. So we'll do that again. So left arm reaches. Bring it back in. This time, both arms, so stretch them behind you. Again, sink into it a little bit. And then maybe lift your heels if you feel that like you want to. Lower your heels down. Holding forward on the exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold back in. As you inhale, reach up. Exhale, palms meet the heart. Okay, we'll do that one more time. So inhale, reach. Again, palms together. We'll lean over towards the left side on that exhale. Inhale to the center. And exhale, take it the other way. Inhale, center. And on the exhale, release the hands all the way down. Inhale, bend the knees, so reaching through your arms. As you exhale, reach and open through that right arm. Exhale, draw it back in. Inhale, reach back, left arm. Bring it back in. When you're ready, we'll fold towards your legs, take your time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, palms meet the heart. Okay, maybe just close your eyes down just for a moment. Just see how you feel. Okay, we'll release the hands. We'll open the eyes. We're going to come in for our balance now. So. We're going to do a Garadasana or Eagle, and you can do the legs and you can do the arms if you'd like, or you can split them up. And do use the walls if, you, if you've got any and you would like to use them. You could use a block here as well. So if we just go to the outside of your right leg and you could place your foot on it if you're doing that kind of half bind. So separate your feet hip distance apart, first of all. We'll stand onto your right leg, draw the belly in, and then lift through your left thigh. And from there, we're going to just wrap that left thigh over the right. So you might just stay there, maybe place your foot onto a block, or maybe place your foot to the ground. If you want a little bit more, taking that left foot behind the back of the right, 
Just be careful that as you do that, your knee and your hips don't kind of travel towards the right. You want to align them more towards the center. And then just bring your palms towards the center. Maybe just closing your eyes. Maybe you sink a little bit through your hips. But just see how that feels without feeling that you have to do anything in particular. So settling your gaze. If you want to bring the arms in, then by all means, stretch them out. Take your left arm under right. Maybe grab hold of your shoulders. Maybe you take that little wrap, take hold of your forearm or the hand, and then maybe you start to lift the elbows up and just see how it feels. Give everything a little bit of a squeeze. So we try to want to have the elbows and the shoulders in line and then the wrists and the elbows in line. It will slowly start to release. So you can unravel your arms and your legs. Maybe bring your feet back together. And then we'll just bring the hands together in front of the heart as well. And taking a moment just to see how that feels in your body. So although we think of our compassion or our self-compassion practice as being looking after our bodies and not going too far, it's also about how we speak to ourselves. So trying to speak to yourself as if you were a friend rather than being harsh or sometimes quite cruel, the <laughs> things we can say to ourselves. And especially with balance postures when we, we kind of maybe fall out of them or wobble or don't get to where we got the last time and it can all feel a little bit harsh. So try and just remind yourself to be kind. Okay, we'll try the other side and we'll see how that goes. So maybe separate your feet a little bit. Again, you can bend into your left leg and start to lift up through your right leg. So we'll wrap the thighs, first of all. Maybe take that foot on the ground or onto a block. Or maybe you wrap it around the back. And you can use a big toe here to, to kind of secure that. So the hips are level and the knees are kind of level and the hands towards the centre. And you could just stay with the hands lightly if that feels good. You can start to sink into it a little bit. So bending into that left thigh. Once you've settled your gaze, maybe add your arms. So stretch them out, right arm on the left. Take any variation of that if you want to and come into whatever feels right. So maybe lifting the arms up. Maybe just giving it a little squeeze. Make sure you can breathe and, and focus your gaze. And remember, the gaze is kind of expansive, so we want it to be wide. And aware. We'll slowly start to release the wrap. So Whatever you've got, just unravel it. Bring your feet together and your hands together. And you can maybe close your eyes for a moment. Okay, when you're ready, we're going to open our eyes, release the hands. We're going to come in and do some standing postures now. So we're going to do that little um, half sun salutation, a little variation that we did. Hopefully I'll get it right this time. <laughs> I did leave one bit out, but hopefully I'll get it right this time. So we'll start at the top. Again, maybe spreading your toes, lengthen through your legs, relax your shoulders down. So as you inhale, we'll reach up the hands, maybe looking at your thumbs as you come up. And then we'll lean over towards the right a little bit. So just that little side bend. Breathe in, bring it back into the middle. And then start to move the other way. Move into the center. And on the exhale, release the hands all the way down. So as you inhale, start to move into that chair. So sink through your legs, reach through your arms. And then we'll reach and open through that right arm. Keep 
Bring everything nice and steady as you do that. Bring that back into the center. And then start to move and open through your left hand. Again, stretch it behind you. Bring it back in. So this time we'll draw both arms back. So pulling them back, keeping the chest lifted. Maybe lift your heels up. Lower your heels all the way back down. When you're ready, slowly pull towards your legs. Bend your knees. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. On the exhale, we're going to step back with your right leg. And we're going to move to warrior one here. So when you come back, just placing your heel down, turn the toes, start to rise up. So just take your time moving into that warrior one position. Adjust your feet and legs if you need to. Maybe reach up with your hands if you want to. But again, relax what you can. Try and engage through the inner thighs a lot here. Spread your toes. Again, you can just stay here. If you want to, you can come in and do Ganadasana again, just with the arms. So when you're ready, we're going to bring your arms down and then we'll take your left arm underneath your right. So maybe grab your shoulders, maybe take that little bind, whatever feels right to you. Now, if you're there, you can stay like this. If you do want to, you could take a little back bend here. So we lift the arms up and then we lean back a little bit. But again, just see how that feels. Everything is really in yoga. should feel kind of nice. If it doesn't, then you may just need to adjust where you are with it. When you're ready, slowly start to lower the elbows down a little bit. And then we'll release the arms. We're just going to reach back up just for one breath, just so that the and then let's can move down your arms again. And then we're going to open up into warrior two. So just take your time moving into warrior two. And again, you may need to adjust your feet and legs. Maybe your back foot turns towards that long edge. Start to stretch out through your fingers or your shoulders back. And breathe. So keeping your knee over your ankle on that front leg. Look along your front hand. Okay, when you're ready, we're going to reverse it. So maybe reach forward just a tad and then turn your front hand and then lift, bringing that right hand just gently on your right thigh as you reach and open. So creating a lot of space in the front of your body here as you do that. Okay, we're going to take one more inhale. Slowly back into warrior two. So take your time coming into it. And then from here, we're going to release the hands down. And we are going to move into a high lunge here. So you might want to hop your back foot in a little bit. And then when you're ready, we'll turn onto the toes of the back leg. So we're coming into this high crescent lunge. So bending into your front leg. And optimize again in the... Being compassionate, you can just simply stay here. If you want to, we're going to come in and we're going to try warrior three. But again, if you don't want to and you'd rather just stay here, then please do that. So we'll keep the hands towards the centre. We'll start to press into that front leg and lift your right leg up off the ground. So again, you might hop up. You might, you might even just place it back down again. It doesn't matter. If you want to move into it, then just take it slowly. Maybe start to straighten through your front leg and extend your leg behind you. The back foot, remember, flexes and kind of faces down towards the ground. Very nice, ladies. Well done. Okay, we'll take one more deep in here. We're just going to step back to that one. So you're just going to reach back with the foot and just place it on the ground. Excellent. Okay, from there, we'll release both hands down towards your mat. Step back into that plank once more. Again, as soon as you get back there, please feel free to lower your knees towards the ground. And then we will lower towards the ground. So again, knees down first if you like, or slowly and carefully lower yourself all the way down. When you get down this time, we'll just relax your feet and we'll bring the arms down. And then just lower your head down towards your arms. So just taking a moment just to see how you feel. 
So the, the feelings of compassion and love and empathy all reside in our Anahata Chakra, which is in our chest area. So it's really quite important that we kind of keep that chakra open. So it's the fourth of our chakras and it kind of links the first four and the, the last ones because it, it acts kind of like a bridge between the internal and the external. And the color of it is green. So you could, you could envisage green. That might help to give you that sense of compassion. So from here, we're going to come in and we're going to do Shalabhasana, but we're going to do it very like we did the Cobra. So we're going to lift one leg and then the other. So option wise, you can keep your arms where they are and keep your head dropped down. Otherwise, you could take your arms by your side so that the palms are facing towards the mat and then just lift your chest up off the ground if that suits you. Otherwise, you can reach your hands back behind you, maybe reaching back towards your feet. You can even clasp your hands, you know, until your fingers and lift your chest from there. Just see how that feels. So whatever variation you're doing, when you're ready, on your inhale, we'll start to lift through your right leg. As you exhale, slowly release it down. So we'll change sides. Inhale, start to lift through your left leg. Exhale, slowly lift. We'll do that one more time. So take your time to so inhale, right leg lift. Exhale to release. And last time with that left leg, just slowly and carefully up. And then release it back down. When you're ready to release the upper body, bring your arms back down. You can take your hands back underneath your head here. You just drop your head down once more. Okay, we're going to come back up. So we're going to do the other side now. So move your hands under your shoulders. Start to press yourself to that all fours position. Again, when you come in, take a moment. Just maybe to move a little bit. Not to rush, but just take your time. And then when you're ready from there, we'll make our way to downward facing dog. So again, when you come into down dog, you can either hold it still or you can move. And maybe just move the head here. So maybe you just release the head and give it a little shake. Okay, when you're ready on your next inhale, we'll lift the heels up, looking forward. So either stepping or walking towards the top, take your time. And again, take a little fold when you get to the top. As you inhale, lengthen forward to stretch your spine. And on the exhale, just folding back in. As you inhale, reach up. And on the exhale, palms knee behind. Okay, we'll come in, we'll try the other side. We'll see how it goes. So again, just coming in with that little variation on that sun salutation once more. So spread your toes, lengthen your legs. Relax the shoulders down. As you inhale, reach with your arms, the so palms together. We'll move to the left side first this time, just gently over. Move back in. And then take it the other way. So again, just take your time. Back into the center. When you're ready, exhale, release the arms all the way down. On the inhale, we'll come into that chair. So start to sink in. So reach your arms. And then we'll reach back with the left arm first this time. So start to reach and open through that arm. Sink your hips a little bit deeper. Bring it back and reach back with that right arm to open up through your shoulder and your chest. Bring it back in. When you're ready, reach back both arms. So again, stay here or lift your heels up. See how that feels. And then lower your heels back down. Fold towards your legs again, keeping your knees bent if you like. Lengthen on the inhale. 
And on the exhale, we'll step back up to your left leg and we'll make our way into warrior one again. So heel down, sort your feet out, rise up when you're ready. So take your time moving in in that compassionate, caring way and then reach with your arms. Again, when you place your neck, when you settle your parts of your body, is all about that compassion. And if we practice compassion on ourselves, it is much easier to do it with others as well. Okay, so we'll come in. We'll do that little um, that adjust the arms, or stay here if you'd like. So bring your right arm underneath your left this time, and again take any wrap that you'd like. Give it a little squeeze if you can, so stretching across the shoulders. And then maybe start to lift up and take that little back bend, but just if it feels right. And then you're ready, we'll slowly release. Again, we'll start to unravel the arms and then maybe reach them back up just for a breath here. On the exhale, we'll open up into warrior two. Take your time again, adjusting your feet. So you might be able to go a little bit wider, a little bit deeper. We're still trying to open up through the hips here. So we're pulling back a little bit in that front knee and we're drawing that left hip back. We're calling your hands, open the chest, opening up through that Anahata Shakta, keeping it spacious. Okay, we'll reverse it. So reach forward a little bit, palm up, start to lift up through that front hand. And maybe if it feels okay, look up. When you're ready, slowly come back. So into warrior two once more. So from here, we're going to release the arms down. And again, we're going to hop in with your back foot a little bit. And then once you've done that, turn onto the toes and move into that high lunge. Again, you can bend your back knee. You know, it's straight, it's really up to you. And please feel free to stay in this lunge. You don't have to do anything else other than stay here. If you want to try that warrior three, we're going to push into your front leg and lift your back leg. And again, you might hop it up a little bit before you lift it. See how it goes. Maybe you keep your front leg bent. You don't have to move fully into these things. Just see how they go. Maybe you start to straighten that leg. You start to straighten both legs, but just see how it feels. Okay, when you're ready, we're going to start to reach back. So again, into that high lunge once more. Okay, from there, we'll take your hands all the way down towards the mat. Take your time. And then we'll step to plank. So again, lower your knees, lower to the ground if you like. Now we're not coming all the way to the ground this time, so you probably do want to lower your knees. We're just going to come into a child's pose. So we'll lower the knees down and then we'll just press the hips back and reach the arms forward. And come into that child's pose. So relax your head and your neck. Maybe bend your elbows here so you're not straining too much in your shoulders. when you're ready, we're going to make our way up but very slowly and we're just coming up to a sitting position. So you're going to swap your hands just back in towards your knee. So we're going to sit round with your legs. We're coming into quite a wide legged position and the knees can be bent if you would like. So we're going to do a little side stretching version of Chan Yushirasana. So if you can straighten your legs, then straighten them. Sit up onto your sit bones. Keep your right leg straight and bend your left leg in so your foot comes towards the inner thigh. So we're going to turn your body now around towards that right leg and you can either lay your right hand somewhere on the leg. You can lay it to the side of it if that feels better or maybe you can reach your foot. Just see how that goes. Right hand stays there. And then with your left hand, if you try and use that just to turn your chest a little bit towards the ceiling 
and then reach up and then over with that hand until you feel a stretch through that left side body. That's where you want to feel it. But the sit bones are down. The chest is opening a little bit towards the ceiling. Okay, we'll take one more deep inhale. From there, slowly release to come all the way back up again. And we're going to keep our legs as they are. We're going to come in for a little twist here. So with your left hand, if you place it somewhere along your right thigh, it's going to really matter where. You're going to use that to draw yourself around. And your right hand, your fingertips are going to go behind you. And then pushing down through that left knee, start to rotate round a little. Okay, when you're ready, we'll slowly come back towards the middle. So we're going to do a little mini wild thing. So again, just work where you can with it. We're going to take your left hand. It's going to go behind the back of your left thigh somewhere. So somewhere along the ground there. But if you wanted to, you could just keep that hand on the ground. Keep yourself on the ground. And then reach up and back with your right hand. So you'll still get a nice stretch through the, the front and side of the body. Otherwise, with your hand, again, I move it a little bit away from your left, so it's not close towards it. We push and then lift up to your hips and then reach up and over with the hand. Very, very nice. Okay, we'll take one more big inhale and then slowly release all the way down. Excellent. Okay, we'll try that on the other side to widen your legs. Maybe give them a little shake before you start. So sit forwards again onto your sit bones. And then we'll start to keep your left foot flexed, left leg straight, bend your right leg up. So again, try and encourage that knee down. You can always support the knee if you feel it's kind of just hanging about there. So you could grab a block and just place it underneath the knee if that feels better to you. So just see how that feels, especially for your hip. Sometimes if it's just kind of hanging there, it's not that pleasant. So from there, turn your body towards your left leg and then using your left hand so it can lie on the leg go either side or you could take hold of your foot if you can. Using your left right hand start to draw your chest round and then reach up and then over with that hand. So we're trying still rotating the chest towards the ceiling as you stretch. So we're trying not to kind of come around the side is the most important thing. when you're ready slowly release to come back up so this time we're coming for the twist again so if you use your right hand now along that left thigh somewhere take your left fingertips behind you and then start to draw yourself around using the right hand and lift up using your left hand pushing down through that right knee as you go so sit bones down when you're ready back and towards the middle so again we'll come in for that little mini wild thing so we'll take your right hand now to the outside of that thigh maybe move it away a little bit if you want to just reach up and over so you're getting kind of a stretch through the front of your body you should do that so we'll kind of back bend otherwise move your hand a little bit further away start to lift and reach up and over when you're ready slowly release all the way back down to take your time and then we'll release the legs just give them a little shake now from there we're going to come down onto your mat so just take your time loading yourself down when you get down there if you have your knees bent your feet flat on the floor we're going to do a little um thread the eye of the needle when we get down there so again feet quite close in about hip distance apart so keep your left foot on the ground, lift your right leg up, flex your foot and just place it on that thigh. So you could just stay here, just flexing through your right foot and pressing your right knee away. Otherwise, we'll lift the left foot off the ground and then take your hands either around the back of your thigh or maybe the front of your shin if you want to take it a little bit further. But again, just see how it feels. Try to keep a little bit of a flexion in both of your feet. So we're keeping both feet. Pretty active here. Yeah. 
when you're ready, slowly release. So just bring it back then. And we'll just change sides. So release your legs, separate your feet hip distance and lift your left foot up. So flex it, place it on your right thigh. Maybe just stay here or start to lift your right foot off the ground. Hands behind the back of your thigh, front of your shin, whatever feels right. Flex your feet a little, relax to your head and your neck. When you're ready, slowly release. So again, both feet flat on the ground. We'll just take a little twist so you can stretch your arms out, drop both legs over to one side. Maybe turn your head, look the other way. Changing sides when you're ready, just slowly take it all the way over to the other side. back towards the center and then from there maybe just draw your knees in one last time make any little movements that you would like to make so we are going to come into shavasana now so our final relaxation so if you want to put on some socks or a jumper then grab that now So just taking a few moments just to get into a comfortable spot. Maybe wiggle around a little bit, just make sure you're, you're super comfortable, settle in to stillness. So we're going to do a little meditation that's going to help us to Really connect with your heart chakra. So Anahata, the heart chakra, holds a center of love, empathy, and compassion. Anahata means unstruck sound in Sanskrit. As I mentioned, it's represented by the color air by the color green and the element air. So maybe visualize that color. Anahata is the chakra of positive energy, connecting the lower chakras to the higher ones. When it's opened, the heart chakra becomes a channel a universal compassion, our true self. It's here in this space that we invite love to flow through us, allowing it to heal ourselves and others. The lesson of the heart is that we must fully love and accept ourselves before we can love and accept others. Begin to let your body settle. Begin to notice your breath. Spread your collarbones wide, opening up the space that holds your heart. As you inhale, feel your belly expand. Fill your lungs with fresh air. As you exhale, you feel your belly contract, emptying out, creating space for new awareness. 
And imagine that you're breathing in a large emerald light. Settling it down into your heart space. It brings with it warmth, making the entire upper body feel toasty and cozy. As you breathe, allow the light to grow. Only by opening your heart can we allow love to come in. If you've felt pain, perhaps a broken heart, you've opened yourself up enough to expose yourself to vulnerability. By doing so, we can extend light onto those who need love. Take a moment here. Maybe bring to mind somebody or multiple people who you love. Bring their faces very clearly into your mind's eye. And then allow love to radiate from your heart into the person or people. And then call to mind someone or maybe multiple people who you have a tough time loving. Bring their faces very clearly into your mind's eye. And allow love to radiate from your heart out into that person or people. Now call to mind yourself. Picture yourself here in your room. Bring your face very clearly into your mind's eye. And using all of this love, compassion, an openness cultivated here. Begin to wrap yourself up in love, sending it out from this space that holds your heart. When you're ready, we'll take a deep inhale. And then we'll just exhale through your mouth. So just let it go. You can do that again, just deeply inhale. And sigh it out your mouth. And then we'll start to move a little bit. So through your fingers, through your toes. Maybe take your arms and just stretch them up overhead. Release the arms down when you're ready. Maybe bending into your knees if you're lying on the ground. Move a little bit. If you want to roll over onto your side, you can. <coughs> Excuse me. Otherwise, we'll just start to make our way up. So just take your time, maybe keeping your eyes closed as you come up. We'll just find a comfortable seat when you're ready. We'll bring the palms together just in front of your heart. Just leaving a little gap just to signify an openness in your heart. Thank you so much for coming along and practicing with me this morning. I hope you enjoy the compassion practice that we did. Namaste. Thank you very much, everyone. I'll just stop this recording and you can unmute yourself.